Hi, welcome to another session of Statistics with Python. In the previous session, we learnt about how the data is spread around the central, which is called a central tendency, and how it is varied with sample and population. In this session, we will be learning about measure of spread, and with this measure of spread, we will see how sample and population varies as well. So what is measure of spread? Measure of spread gives us the variability in the data and how well the data is distributed. So to get the overall description of the data, we use central tendency and measure of description. So where do we use this? We use this in election polls or to judge your test scores or even percentage increase in your salary. So let's go ahead and implement this in our Python notebook. Measure of spread also has four categories. That is range, quartile, variance and standard deviation. Let us look at range. Range gives us how well the data is spread out and to calculate this, we take the highest value in the data set and the lowest value in the data set and find the difference between them. To understand range, let me give you an example. Let us consider a dance class. So the age group in this dance class is between 5 and 50. So what would be the range? It would be 50 minus 5, which is 45. So let us calculate this in our Jupyter notebook. Let me take an example where I take n as a list and I'm calling the function np.random.randn and we are calling out 9 numbers and as we all know random is a module under numpy and it has a sub module called randn which is normally distributed random numbers and I'm calling out 9 numbers over here. We can change to any number as you like and let me go ahead and run this and we get 30 random normally distributed random numbers and to calculate the range for this we will take the maximum value which is again a module under the numpy and minimum which is another module under numpy we take the difference between them to get the range we understood range but in the example what i given you the range between the age group of 50 and 5 is huge and we don't really understand what we are trying to interpret it over here. So to understand this, we use quartile where we divide the data into four sets and get the median in between and this is divided as 25th percentile, 50th percentile and 75th percentile. And we can go ahead and calculate this for the whole data spread and understand better for the age group. Let us implement the same in our Jupyter notebook. So I'm considering the previous example again to calculate this. So NumPy has another module which is very simple called percentile and you have to go ahead and give the data set name or the list name and which percentile you required. So over here we will in the first quartile we as I said it would be the 25th percentile and in the second quartile it would be 50 and in the third percentile it would be 75 and to calculate the interquartile range we use the third quartile and the first quartile this gives us the interquartile range variance tells us how far the data is away from the mean and it changes for population and sample in population we consider the whole number of population observation but in sample we subtract the number of sample observation by one so let's take an example in our Jupyter notebook. So for the population in this example, I'm considering the normal distribution as mentioned in previous example. So let us go ahead and run this and we get 100 observation. And for sample, I'm taking 30 sample as well. To calculate variance of population, Again, it's very simple in NumPy. It is just VAR. This is the sub module in NumPy and the list. And the same goes for sample as well. So as you can see, variance in population and variance in sample changes. We will see why this changes in our coming videos. The final subtopic for today is standard deviation. Standard deviation is nothing but the square root of variance. Although variance gives us a rough idea about how the data is spread from the mean, but the standard deviation gives us more exact value how this data is spread from the mean. Let us implement this on our sample and population data. So NumPy has standard deviation module under it, which is called as STD. 
and please go ahead and type in your list or the population or your data set for our list let us go ahead and calculate the standard deviation and we will do the same for the sample as well as you can see the standard deviation is almost pretty close to sample and population till now we have seen how central tendency and measure of spread is varying in sample and population to understand more about this we will see in our upcoming videos thank you for watching for more videos please do subscribe to our channel account count average is dead